Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can create POST API with the help of Mongo's. In last some videos, we also learned that how we can create APIs, but that was the simple way of creating APIs. That time we did not use uh, models and schemas and all. But now in that video and in the upcoming two or three videos, we will learn that how we can use schemas model with the APIs so that we can create a proper API or you can say that these are the project level APIs, right? So now let's start with the points of this video. First of all, we will create a config file for MongoDB. Then we will create a post route. And in this post route, we will get the data from Postman and save in the DB. And at the last, we will uh, cover some interview questions related to this video. All right. So now let's uh, start with the first point and uh, let's create a config file. Let's put here config.js and uh, in this file, let's connect our database. After that, uh, we will create one more file. Uh, let's say um, this is uh, our product file. Product.js and here we will write our schemas and model here you may have again one more question which is why we are creating two file for configurations one for model and schemas and one for actual database connection the reason is uh, in this config.js file we will just create connection with the database and here we will write models and schemas so the reason of creating two files so actually this table is belong to the collection so let's say we have four collections in our database so that we will create four uh, files for models and schemas. Each file will relate with the different collection, right? So now let's uh, start with the config and uh, create a constant. Let's say my constant name is uh, mongoose and uh, let's require here load here a package for mongoose like this and in the second line we just need to simply write here mongoose dot connect and uh, here we can provide the link of our database so that we can create a connection so the link will be as i told you in the previous video also uh, you can just check the link from uh, our uh, mongodb dot compass file which is the local host colon 2700 and our database name you don't need to provide here dot colon uh, which is the collection name we don't need that for a moment so just simply put here mongodb colon slash slash localhost after that put colon 27017 and our db name keep in mind they will db name should be correct and every and each character spelling should be correct otherwise it will be a problem for a db connection so just simply put here db name and now that's it now let's come back here and uh, just import here again your mongoose package and let's uh, this require this and let's put here our package name after that, we can import this file here uh, in a product, but we don't need it. Even you can just uh, import it inside the index.js also. But if you want that, you can import it inside the project.js also, right? Uh, after that, let's take a const for schema. Just simply put here product schema and uh, just simply put here mongoose dot schemas and here we can provide here our field of the database so we have four fields in our database uh, in our collection which is the name brand price and category so let's put them with the type also so type means what kind of data we will store here so just simply put here string as a name price will be the number after that uh, brand and brand, brand will be again a string after that uh, category and again category will be the string 
great now let's create a model just take const we don't need actually const so just simply put here mongoose dot model it will take two parameters first one is our collection name so let's say our collection name is products and we don't need here semicolon and second one will uh, parameter will be our product schema like this and now we can directly export it so let's put here export uh, actually it will be the module dot exports like this all right so now let's get back to the index.js and this is our code from the previous file so we don't need it because in the same file we just created the static connections and uh, everything so let's remove the everything from here and now let's just get here express express here so that we can create the routes and all load express like this and after that let's take a const it will be a product and we are actually importing here uh, our model here so just again require and in, from inside it what we can do here we can just uh, put here file name which is product and one more thing which is required here we can just export here uh, require here our db configuration file so just simply put here config file and we don't need to store it inside any variable because this is just a connection it should be just executed we don't need to store this data anywhere all right so after that let's take a app from uh, express and then let's create app dot post it this is basically a post url we can just create here url which it can be create in the second parameter what what we will take here uh, arrow function and it have two parameters request and response now let's simply just take here let data here and we are just making a new object of product and inside here we actually need uh, our product so that we can store here but we will get them from the postman right so i am just commenting this line for a moment what i just want to do first of all i just want to make a console dot log request dot body so that we can get the data from postman but for that we have to just uh, uh, you can say that parse this body stream to the uh, json so what we can do here we can just simply put here app dot use and uh, we can just simply put here express dot json it will actually parse the data inside the json format and after that i can just i just want to show you the body and uh, it will be the request that will be just going continuously so for stop that i just need to put here response dot send done i will change it within a moment but for a moment i am putting here done and uh, after that what we can do here we can just uh, put here app dot listener uh, our port can be 5000 that's it now let's run it on the terminal you can use your browser terminal or you can use your uh, code editor terminal so this is the previous request i am just removing it for a moment uh, just go to the postman select here post request go to the body select here row and then uh, json and here what we are just going to do we are putting here data so i am putting here name it can be let's say uh, one plus or something uh, we can just simply say that seven note or something right then we can just say that price it will be number so let's put here six hundred dollar then uh, category or brand it can be let's say mobile category and 
at the last we can just choose here brand and uh, from brand we can choose here let's say one plus whenever i'm just hitting it you will find that okay url is actually empty so let me add here url there will be 5000 and there should be a create url enter it now you can see that we are getting done and here you can see that we are getting this data from postman to here here you can see that we are just consoling this data right so now if we just put here uh, request dot body inside our products it should work right and now let's take another const or you can take here let also result and it, it should be wait okay what, what is that await mm, after that uh, let's simply put here mm, data dot save method and let's just print this result to the back to the api as a response and now you can see that we have only three results but whenever i will just hit it uh, okay there is an error because we are using await and for await we must have to use here async function now let's run it again now you can see that we are getting here data everything is fine so whenever i'm checking our post data now you can see that we have four data last one is entered here so if you want to try the fifth one you can just go with that let's say i am just adding here uh, 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 lg okay uh, we can just put here max and let's put here uh, brand name is lg price can be let's say 450 dollar let's enter it and now we can find that we have uh, another record here so with that way we can just insert the records with the help of model and schema the question that can be asked that what are the schemas and model the answer of this question i already given in the last videos so if you watch that then you can easily answer them and if you did not watch them then please watch our previous video because this is really important question for perspective to the uh, interviews so thank you so much for watching this video